Hey, what's up everyone? Adam J. Brass here, and I'm at my home studio. Thought I would show you uh, another feature of Pyramix that I might not have gone over. Uh, this is how to mix down in your project. So taking a multi-track and mixing it down to a stereo uh, file. This is a very basic thing. You can do lots of things with rendering files and mixing down different buses, but this is a very simple procedure that I'm going to show you just to create a stereo mix. So I've got uh, two tracks here, uh, some editing and fades and stuff in the, in the timeline. And I've also got a stereo reverb, uh, as you can see here with this aux group with the green fader. Um, and I've just got one stereo mix bus with the red fader, as you can see. And that's it. Really simple. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this button here, which is mix down the current project. So when you click that button, you get a dialog box and you can name your file. Um, you can have a unique file name extension, which is a long unique file name extension at the end of your file If you're generating lots of files, that's good to keep things um, You know unique as, the, as it says in, in there um, But I don't really generate that many files, so I don't really use that um, Over to the right you have record and that's asking you where your mix down is coming from the whole composition or between the marks um, or, is, or the selection that you make just by clicking on, on a region. Um, below that you have the media folder, media format, and the word length. So you're gonna, where's, it, where's your file going? And what kind of format is your file? I'm using broadcast wave format, and I'm gonna keep it 24 bit. Um, and I also have um, options if I wanna take it down from 24 bit to 16 bit to dither it. Uh, you open this dialog box and you can change the settings of what kind of file you're going to make. Um, and you can also change the filter type and the noise shaping type. So that's something you would use your ear to listen to and see what you prefer. Um, and as well, you have a real-time box. So if you're using any analog hardware patched in, that would be how you would make the mix with analog hardware. Um, loudness and true pick limiting is a really cool feature. Uh, I don't use it because I do that already using the loudness metering of Pyramix, but this is a great static setting. I don't really experiment with it, like I said, so, you know, try it, see if you can use this um, to have, you know, the same target loudness over a lot of different bounces. But um, it's something that I will experiment with in the future, but it's not something I use right now. Um, anyway, so then we have bus name. So we go ahead and click on our mix bus one. Uh, that's the only mix bus I have. If you had more mix buses, you could select them and export uh, each of the mix buses individually as well as the reverb that I have there, but I'm not going to do that So I'm gonna go ahead and hit mix down And it's just going to create me a file uh, based on that format and it's going to put it in that media files folder And I go about my day. So I hope that was helpful. See you on the next one